Okay, let's introduce Rhino toolbars. So we must know the name of the toolbars because once it uh, uh, by accidentally if you turn if the toolbar is turned off, you can uh, turn it on again. If if that can be only possible if you may if you know the exactly name of that toolbar. So okay, let's start in the top of the Rhino interface. This is the menu bar. Okay. So suppose if you want to turn it on, turn it off. So you can uh, use underscore options. So underscore option is the command, and uh, just press enter, and you can find below this Rhino option that is the appearance uh, appearance icon, where you can turn it off, turn it on. So here is the menu toolbar. Okay, in advance. You can turn turn it off and on this side sidebar. So if you type side and you can turn it off and turn it on. Okay. So suppose if I want to reset toolbar, so you must have to restart Rhino. So suppose if you give toolbar reset, then you have to. So we will do this later. So at present. Toolbar reset is the command name, so just uh, remember this thing. Toolbar reset, then restart Rhino after uh, clicking on this command. So at present we are just introducing user interface. Okay, again in the bottom we have a different viewports. Suppose if, suppose if you want to maximize any viewport, just double click on that. Or Control M is the key. Okay, Control M, Control M again. So it will maximize and minimize the viewport. Below that we have a object snap, O snap options. So object snap, if it is turned on, turn off. So if it is turned on, we have all the options are available. So O snap is a very important thing. We will see uh, the details later. Okay. Below that we have a function key. So the function keys are the heart of the Rhino. So this is the very advantage tools. So it will make our task very easy. Okay, this is properties toolbar. This is floating toolbar. That is properties toolbar. So suppose if you want, if you have accidentally turned it off, so you can type here properties. It will appear again. Okay. Thank you.